My name is Nancy McGee. I'm an explorer and an underwater filmmaker. And today I'm going to be the first woman to pilot the exosuit. Yesterday we were here going through the safety systems and looking at, at pre-dive checks, post-dive checks, getting an orientation to the suit. This is only week two of ocean exploration for the exosuit. I expect to face extreme challenges as a first-time pilot in brand new technology. Right now they are prepping the suit for me. I am somewhat Lilliputian in stature, midget-like compared to some of the pilots. They are using this suit for guys that are six foot four and now using it for a woman who's five foot six. Using the comms system, I'll be in constant contact with the surface team. Throughout history, deep ocean explorers have been hampered by their inability to affect their surroundings. And until now, submersibles have been nothing more than windows to an unfathomable environment. The exosuit is a state-of-the-art submersible diving apparatus, a million-dollar, one-of model. It was designed for use in commercial diving and scientific research. What sets the exosuit apart from predecessors is the pilot's ability to control movement and dexterity. Foot pedals power and direct thrusters for horizontal and vertical movement. A wearable rebreather, the exosuit is a one atmosphere suit capable of supporting a pilot at 1,000 feet of salt water for upwards of 50 hours. Rotary joints held in place by nothing more than nylon threads allow motion that mirrors sweeping human movements. Manipulator hands permit fine motor control. The first test of a pilot is to deploy the onboard knife of course, the surface crew really appreciates stowing the blade before suit recovery. The suit is designed to be neutrally buoyant for a man weighing 220 pounds. Fortunately, I have not yet reached that point and have no plans to begin the mashed potato and fudge diet. As my feet are immersed, the dive supervisor asks me if I feel water entering the suit. green water hampers my ability to gauge speed and depth. With no visual reference, maneuvering is spooky. Okay, well, current's pushing me for a bit. Yes, please. More power. Scotty, more power. Always wanted to say that. I need more power. Oh yeah, now she's burning. Okay, I appear to have lost my right thruster pedal. Yeah, I have no 
thruster power. Zero low pressure, starboard side, low pressure 120, high pressure 2400, cabin pressure 1, O2 19.3. Dive supervisor, crew, and engineers troubleshoot topside and find overheated thruster motor. Seems to be a pretty good current running right now. It's one of those deals if I break it, I have to buy it. You want to figure out the math on if I pay $50 a month, <laughs> how long will it take me to pay this thing off? Okay, check one of them inside here just to make sure the connections were good. Both connectors in here appear to be fine. Power is shut off to cool the mechanism. As the first female to fly the exosuit in the ocean, I am both humbled and honored. But for me, the greatest thrill was to be included as one of the lucky few pilots. After a week of training, I'm ready for the next step, deep ocean exploration. Uh, All right. Man. That was a lot of light.